Conexión is about bringing communities together who celebrate and learn about the Latin and Hispanic heritage. We are working with Driving Single Parents. We are gonna be donating a vehicle to Stephanie. She has two kids. She creates time to donate and give back to her own community. So she works with her church. She partners with an organization that brings children and animals together for like a therapeutic approach. And then she also works with a young women's support group. My name is Stephanie. I live in San Antonio, Texas, and I am a single mom to two kiddos. Driving single parents was on the news. Ain't nobody gonna give away a car. Like, I just thought it was the craziest thing. I submitted my application, and I think I heard from them like a day or two later. Driving Single Parents was founded five years ago in 2017. What we do is give away cars to single parents who are very deserving, who are trying to do more than just get to work and get home. We obviously get applications all the time, and we went through them video by video and selected Stephanie because she is so incredible and has done so much. Um, not just for herself and her children, but also to give back to the community. So we were super excited to be able to give this car away to her today. I have a vehicle right now. At the current moment, it's smoking from diff two different places under the hood. I can't even tell you how much I've paid to get the car fixed. I was at home when they did a Zoom call with me. They just told me that I am I'm getting the car and I just cried. It's like, what, el what else can you do but cry? Today we are joined by Conexion. They had the opportunity to partner with a nonprofit and we're super excited to be able to donate this vehicle to Stephanie today. The reason I got an SUV is to help me in my mission to helping teenagers at-risk youth because I can fit six teenagers in my car. There's so many girls out there that don't know their worth and I really wish somebody would have been there for me. Just because you live in poverty right now, just because you're in this place of depression and, and anxiety and all of this stuff, that doesn't mean you have to stay there.